Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Grounded, and we are now in episode 87. Well, I've purposely stuck myself here to show you the damaged base. Actually, it was damaged, and it's been totally repaired. So, typical, uh, guess what happened? Um, I have no idea why but the red ants decided to attack while I was on the bridge and they took out I think this wall and that wall and that wall they destroyed the spinning wheel, they did a whole bunch of stuff any hoot um, I had to repair all that, I made myself a workbench because I was trying to repair a lot of my tools and you know what, I ended up having to go all the way back to the main base way over there right along the edge of the wall, right around, <laughs> just like, man. Anyway, that, believe it or not, was on top of a whole bunch of other resource collecting, so... Um, I know full well that we're going to go down this way soon, but not this episode. So, uh, where did I put it? Must be upstairs. I, I made a pallet for here and uh, for the grass and then I made another pallet for the stems which I think is upstairs but then the main intention was to make pallets for over there so I'll show you after we've gone to sleep but I think I put was it one pallet of stems and two pallets of grass planks all the way over there near the shed and I kinda made see how I've got that little extra set of platforms on the side to store stuff well I think instead of making it two I made it five or six so there's plenty of space there so this episode really is actually trying to get steps to go down off of the bridge um, under the veranda on the shed uh, you know it I want to explore under there to see if there's anything but on the other hand if I do want to scour the ground around the shed I've got somewhere to escape to come back up onto the bridge that's kind of the purpose of the whole thing anyhow um, I'm not sure what the time is. Is it time? It is time for Betty's. Um, what have I got? I've got a fair bit of food, which will go off a little bit. And I've got plenty of water. So I think I'm right just to go to bed, wake up, and we'll start heading over to the bridge and use some of those resources. Alright, I'm going to bed. See you in the morning. Oh, that was a good sleep. I needed that. There's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. That's right, Max. So, uh, consume this Rub one time. first. I think, yeah, that's not too bad. All right, all right. So, early morning. Time to get off to work. Could have almost brought some more grass planks with me, but anyway. So yeah, so uh, at the end of the bridge here, instead of having the three sets of stairs that takes us up onto the shed veranda, we want to build off to the left here and go under the shed veranda. What's moving around down there? That looks like Mr. or Mrs. Wolf Spider. That must be the same one that sits near the bicycle tire here. Seems to have called that spot their home for some reason. So yeah, we want to obviously bypass her. So this is that other little stretch I was talking about. I think it is six long. A couple of pellets of grass, some stems. And this is where we want to go. Kind of down... Where that pot is and that big stone is, if we can land down behind there, I think that would be the safest spot. I'm not, I'm not sure if there's anything really bad down there. Oh, that's the bee. I thought I could hear a bee. Um, okay, so I guess we can start already. Uh, let's see. Build ourselves a set of stairs that... Which way is that going? That's what I'm chasing. Yay! And then I 
think she would have to be a bit careful doing this. The only problem is, I wish you could kind of reorder these, put them. Kind of so I don't have to scroll so much. So this is kind of what I'm doing, is just putting one of these, like flat platforms, followed by a set of stairs. Actually, I tell you what, I might put a few horizontals because I don't like being that close to the ground. Just in case there is something chasing me. I was half expecting there might have been a wolf spider in there, but or some other spider. Okay, I bet we go a couple more. Wonder how many more we should go. Maybe a couple more again. I feel like you're going to hit your head on it, but no, you're actually quite a fair way under, Truv. What? Is that a molar underneath that other pot? I can see. Man, looks like I certainly will need some more grass. I'd love to just go down there and grab it. <coughs> um, is that a molar? I think Let's it see is. What's here. Yeah, that looks like a molar. Hang on, are they spider sacks? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on. Is that a spider sack or is that a rock? They don't look. Oh, I don't know. Is that different to that? I think so. Oh, I don't know. I oh, don't tell me there's a spider down here, too. <laughs> Man! Alright, well. I have a feeling. Hmm. So, did we use it all up already? Oh wow, we did. Oh no, we didn't. Maybe it's too far away. That could be the problem. Uh. Hmm. I guess <coughs> as long as we're past the pot and this stone, then we can go down. I'm not sure if there's a great deal under here now, but anyway, we might have to take back a pellet. I mean, we're right for stems. That's not a problem. Oh dear. Okay. Funny, isn't it? You think you got a lot of material, but it doesn't go that far. Can you imagine trying to work out just how many pieces of grass plank that's gone into building all the bridges and buildings and stuff in Grounded so far? It's a lot of stuff. Alright, let's get a bit of a breather. Get back into it again. At least this is a reasonably safe area here. Except, of course, when the red ants attack or the um, ladybird decides to come visit. At least my axe is back 100% health again, which is really good. Yeah, I'm not sure what triggers um, the red ants to attack like that. I think I ended up with... I killed... was it two or three uh, soldier ants and a worker. And most of the time I was up on the bridge, like, just I didn't come down initially. That's probably where they did so much damage. But I was only... I was kind of defending the base by attacking them from a distance. Hang on a second, how come I've got a pellet here still? A bit weird. Yes, you're so lucky little aphid. I can certainly hear you. I don't realise there's clay just there. Oh, that's handy. I didn't know it was there. Actually, if that's full... I think one of these pellets I must have made and put down there ready to 
store material for the build over here, I think. Actually, let me just take these, which are kind of sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, and then just fill this up as best we can. two full pellets there. I'll take these back over. Sorry people, I'm trying not to go too quick to make you seasick. Alright, so this has got to go close now to bringing us down onto ground level. feel a bit better because if you're in trouble, you can always just run back under the veranda and then hopefully get away by just climbing back up the staircase. That's the plan. Just thinking, I might have to repair my ant armor too. Either that or change into some other armor. But it's so important, like I've been using it so much to help um, move more material. Can I just squeeze it there? Might help being a bit closer. Okie dokie. So we're back. Alright. I reckon maybe just go down from here, perhaps? That kinda looks alright to me. So, grass stairs. There you go. Whoops. Almost stood off then. Let's just see. Where's the stems? Let me grab a couple. I'll use one immediately, and the next one will be for the next set of stairs. So there's one. Let's just put that back behind me. Can I reach the others? I wonder. Yeah, I can't. Hmm. Well, I can certainly reach that stem, so... Uh, let's grab a full load. Two more. So we're doing a flat followed by another set of stairs, right? No, full stairs. It's just there, dude. He's just there. I don't think it counts. Oi! Shock horror. Look at the aphid. There's nothing hopping out at me, but. I haven't really explored everything yet, so... <sighs> don't be surprised if something pops up that you don't expect. Alright. So what are we going to get? Maybe just the eight grass first and we'll come back with the stem. This has got to go awfully close to getting down to the bottom now. Another set of stairs. The worst scenario here is that I get attacked while I'm just about to stand off. <laughs> yeah, I actually... <coughs> I was thinking bringing another full grass, probably not much point. 
I think I can probably get up and down once these stairs are made. Well, we're soon going to find out. Is this enough? I'm on the ground. <coughs> and I can jump back up. That's not bad. I mean, you could go down even further, one more if you really wanted to, but nah, I think that's pretty good. Alright, well, I'm just going to stand up here a little bit further and save the game. After doing all that work, let's see if we can now run around and explore a bit. Can you actually chop these guys down? This is a... Oh, it is. Yeah. Hang on. Is that the same mushroom chunk as I've had before? Oh, it is okay. I just don't want to get a shock where I walk up here and there's something. <laughs> a nest. Of spiders or something. Oh wow, little hidey hole back here. How's that? That that's a cool little place. You could build a little um little hidden little base in there and protect yourself a bit. Hmm. Looks like there's some other material here that we can chomp. So two, I could actually get that quartzite. <laughs> Please don't roll all the way down the hill. Thank you. Well, that's all right. Feels awfully dark down here. Nothing much else up in here. So these are the actual floorboards under the veranda. Hmm. Okay, well, can't go kind of any further really without falling off, I think. Could go up a bit further if around the other way. Also harvest. Oh, I would imagine these would just come back. Actually, when you think about it, if you were really after, whoops, whoops, that's gonna hurt. Ah, crap. Ah. <laughs> ah. For some reason, I just started thinking that was a normal ant. Uh, yeah. Where did they come from, people? So, we found our first enemy. So we didn't do that much, we basically just saved it when we were about to go out and explore. So does that mean we didn't pick up the mushroom chunks? Maybe. Don't have them in my inventory, so I guess that's a yes. So where on earth did they come from, the fire ants? They weren't here before, were they? Hmm. Let's go back up here again. I know I've explored everything. Did I trigger something because I made some noise breaking this up maybe? Don't know. Um, just remind yourself though. It could be random and they just happen to find me. I don't know. Soon gonna find out. Roll all the way down the hill. So one thing's for certain. The fire ants are not happy to see me. Wonder if that's Supreme Marvel stuff again. Alright. Now that I've got all that, I'm saving it again. 
Ah, see, nothing happened, people. Nothing happened at all. Can I go around this way? Or am I going to trigger someone? Oh no, it's level 2. Alright, well... Yeah. Might as well get that as well. I have no idea where those fire ants came from. So don't forget... The wolf spider is over there somewhere. Yeah, you, you think everything's dandy and quiet and safe and whatnot. And that wouldn't be a bad place to have a little base in here, actually. Build up the other end fairly strong and then just have one little entrance. With a couple of gates or something. What is this? Oh, it's just a pebble. Okay. Oh, now it's got me worried. Hang on, hang on. This could be a bit ludicrous, but... <sighs> so I guess it's time to get the molar. Am I heading towards a hole in here? They, they look like spider sacks to me. Are they going to open up if I get to the mole? Have a look. Got me milk mole. Yeah, that's a web sack. Makes me a little bit worried thinking... Is there a... Bigger spider around, maybe? Alright, bit by bit. I have collected the mink molar. Uh, Rub time. Take care of that. So I guess the next part is going over this way. So I guess I just ignore... it looks like it would be a great tunnel for a spider to be in. Hmm. I tell you what, there's quite a few sacks around here. Is that the same mushroom though, isn't it? <laughs> That. That's a bit scary, that sound. Did I just trigger something? Ooh. There's another num num in here. Alright, well, if I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> This was the other side. Is that a little bit more shard? Nothing there. The pebble. I would imagine that's going to come back, that piece of clay. I mean, we could have been unlucky before that the fire ants were here and it's a very random thing. Maybe? maybe. I don't know. Oh, well, I can pick a few, few, I suppose. Not sure if I'm pressing my luck here. If something's going to come out and grab me in a second, I don't know. Grab what I can. Wouldn't that be bad if there was a spider hole just under where I'm standing? I didn't know. Well, let's go around and down here and just make sure there's not... No, 
just looks like a bit of a muddy pile. Can I jump? It's no lemon crime, but hey. it's better than nothing. Okay, well, I, mean, I don't even know where those guys came from before. That's the other part of the bike, eh? Hey? Hmm. I seem to be far enough away. A bit across there. From the wolf spider, so I don't attract him. Those fire ants were weird, though. It's almost like it wouldn't normally be their place. Can I hop back this way? I can't. Oh. No, if something's chasing, you can always just run through here. And scoop back around again. Yeah, I don't know why the fire ants were way over there. Whether that was just random for them. There's nothing else in there after getting the milk molar. Alright, well at least I know now if I fall off, there's a way of being able to come around the back here and climb back up. Hmm, okay. It's good to know. Got a few more resources here. The question is, where do you go? Like, the wolf spider's right there. Uh, so hang on, if I went round the edge of that Bessa block, I'm only going to end up near the wood pile, aren't I? Or down where the termites showed up last episode. Huh, is there any advantage to that, I wonder? I guess I wouldn't mind taking on the termite. I mean, they're going to be just as tough, but I want to do it from a height or something. Alright, well I could always make a bridge from here that goes over in that direction above the leaves and whatnot, gets me closer. You know, heads past this bike over to the other bike maybe. There's a lot of options. And I haven't really looked inside of here yet. What about that box over there? That's another place I should be looking at. This area is so big. Well, at least we've looked under... Was that there before? Or did I cut it down? Oh, that's the one that's near the base. Oh, okay. I probably cut it down and didn't realise that it grew so close to the bridge. Oh, well, at least that's good to know. I've got a, a bit, of, bit of gear on me now. I did make another chest just next to the workbench here, so... Maybe we can store some... Oh, I'll just put it anywhere, I suppose. It'll be in the vicinity... ...for me to grab, I guess. That bee sounded awfully close. <laughs> Alright, so at least we've got a bridge now and a set of stairs that goes in that direction. Was that something that landed down there? It almost looked like something flew down. It was like a... Like a firefly or something. Let's see what's around here. Oh, I thought I saw something fly down. No, that's a, that's a roly-poly trip. Okay. And the stinky bug is down there somewhere. Can I see him? There he is. Yeah, he's a stinky bug. Alright, well, look, at least, at least if anything, this episode's got me to the point where I feel a bit more comfortable if I fall off that bridge or if I'm in that area, I've got another way of getting back on the bridge. So maybe next episode, with the resources that we've got, we're going to build down onto this platform. Or should we go over to the barbecue? Maybe we should go over to the barbecue, because we're already on this level. Maybe we can explore in that direction. Hmm. 
Um, yeah, have to have a think about that. So we're going to either go that way or that way. Find some more stuff. Actually, maybe a bridge from there to the picnic table wouldn't be such a bad idea. Because I get... What is it? Up on the top there? Not sure. A bit hard to see from here. I see glasses. And a little esky. A tin can and stuff. I guess we could go around that way past the gnome sort of thing, or we could just go from this platform here, even that little rock just there probably go right across to the picnic table I would say yeah, maybe we go this way to the barbecue area see how safe that is and then maybe oh gee I tell you what, it is so tempting, sorry people it is getting a bit late in the day here to do this but um, that's where I've come from it's tempting to build it way up on the top here and go over to the barbecue because then I could build a bridge above all the stones oh man that would take a while oh it wouldn't, uh, I don't know, it's not any longer than that probably and then I could go from there across to the picnic table, easier yeah maybe we should do that, I can always build a little staircase down to the pebbles at least I can get around the map a bit easier and a bit safer, flatter little platforms to run across, like I have been doing. Hmm. Okay, everyone. Uh, episode might be a little bit shorter than normal, I'm not sure, but I will actually leave the episode here. That was refreshing. And next episode, I think, yep, that's where we're heading, over that way. Alright, everyone, I hope you've liked the episode. If you have, go ahead and smash the like button, as it really does help the channel to grow and if you haven't already subscribed uh, please go ahead and subscribe alright everyone thanks so much cheers